diced up all the mushrooms into big chunks. And then I'm going to blend up some sauce to pour over and let the mushrooms sit for a while. Smoosh rooms! Smoosh. Kian was nice enough to sacrifice his basil plant, which I'm going to destroy and take all the leaves off to make some really delicious sauce. Yay! I've got my ingredients washed. Some bell peppers, some tomatoes, and we'll put some of that basil in there. I'm cutting the, whoa, don't slide, don't slide, iPhone. <laughs> I'm cutting the, uh, the tomatoes into halves because they blend better that way. And if you want to be a lazy chef, just like me, you want things to be easy. Halves, halves, halves. Also, make sure your knife is sharp. Serrated knives work really well for tomatoes if you don't have a sharp knife. Also, it's easiest to put the things that are going to blend the, uh, the softest things in the base of the blender. Softest, th softest things in the base of the blender, like tomatoes, and then the harder things um, are going to go at the top. Here I have a handful of dates, because if you've ever noticed that all commercially jarred uh, tomato sauces or pasta sauces they all have a buttload of sugar, so you have to sweeten your sauce somehow. Um, sometimes I put strawberries, um, I always almost put a date or a bunch of dates. Okay, should we take a video of this? Mushroom <laughs> stems are not going to be wasted. Um, putting those in there. People are trying uh, durian for the first time behind me. <laughs> Hi! Hey, how's it going? I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Tamra. <laughs> if you have a channel, please mention it. Um, I'm, I'm Raw Yoga Moon on YouTube, so check me out. Yay! Like. Yay! Um, I'm Tamra on 30 Bananas a Day. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And it's our first time having durian ever, so cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god, Kion, can I have a piece, yeah. please? Mm -hmm. It tastes like onion. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do get that on the first try. This one's not very oniony. It's like a caramelized onion. Mmm. It's good. It tastes like mango. It's so good. <laughs> mm, mango. So you like mango. Mango. Oh my mango god. and onion. Yeah. I remember this whole pod. I don't care. I'm hogging. Can I hog it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, gonna go for round two. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Round two is like mousse. <laughs> mousse? Yes. Creamy mousse. It's that slight mango, yeah. <laughs> Not to be confused with mousse! Exactly. Mango. <laughs> You're mango. getting mango? Yeah. I'm just getting awesomeness. It's <laughs> milky now, I like it. Definitely milky. Really creamy. creamy. Yeah, creamy yeah. milky. Alright. I'll have a little bit more on that. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna finish making sauce. Okay. Oh, yeah, you know, Check this out. Like this. Oh, yeah. Wait, will you tell us what you put in? And I'm a new person today. Last night um, I felt like yes. you're a new person. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm a new person. Today. It could be any Last kind night of day. Last night I felt though. like I was honey dates, Jose yes. conversations. Food process with just, like, just a little water. And then dip any fruit in it, and it tastes like caramel. Was it moon and Pisces? So good. Yeah. Pisces likes to work. I love date sauce and date syrup and date dip. All day. It was like nothing was hitting the spots. Look at that beautiful blender. We have 
tomatoes, basil, mushroom stems, dates, yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, and I think that's it. There's more room in the blender. I'm gonna add some more basil and maybe some more tomatoes. Yeah. Do you guys wanna try the sauce and get spoons? Why not? Sounds what, good. Use the durian spoon. But, but not, not, not on YouTube. So that they're like, oh my god, this is disgusting. It's the worst stuff hey. ever. No, I'm just joking. Okay. Okay, can we go ahead? All the spoons in the... Go for it. Okay. Take a bite. That's what's going on the mushrooms, and then the mushrooms are going to marinate on the... <laughs> mm. It is really good, wow. actually. Wow, refreshing. It's lovely. It's like a gazpacho, yeah. but it's thick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of the same idea. I mean, you could... So many times I make sauces, and then I end up using them as dressings. So or is that a gazpacho or is that soups. Mm -hmm. Like I'll float veggies in there. Is that, is that Asian market? Asian market? Which one do you yeah, let's go to? Yeah, it's $1.68 for $1.59 a pound. But I don't think they have it for $1.59. Is it from Frozen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like an ice cream thing. <laughs> I'm sure you can make during ice cream. Yeah, Say that again. <laughs> you really soak it up? Yeah, I'm going to have to make more sauce probably because the mushrooms are going to soak up the sauce. Um, Robbie's girlfriend gave me a tip on Instagram. She was like... Who's Robbie? Robbie. Oh, oh, oh. Robbie's girlfriend, um, yeah. Allie, was like telling me if you um, put your mushrooms in the sun, they soak up even more vitamin D. Oh, I, who did I hear say that? Maybe or Allie? On YouTube, I heard somebody say yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Who was that? Wow, cool. So I guess I could sit this out in the sun and let it cook a little bit. That's a good idea. <laughs> Just finished making the dish. I added halved uh, yellow cherry tomatoes and some finely sliced basil on top, along with the grated zucchini. And I'm pretty happy. Pretty stoked. Wasn't too tough. Pretty easy. You can do it too.